Oh, Pisces, 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 Pisces. Hello, hello. <laughs> Congratulations, Pisces. Um, wow, Pisces, wonderful. Um, really wonderful, wonderful, ladies and gentlemen, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, so Pisces, what is happening here? Money, money, money. Okay, Pisces, you're going to be doing well in business in this year. Um, but you have some communication issues. Um, and uh, nine of swords, ten of swords. But you have uh, some sort of a message that is going to be coming in that you are going to be um, giving out a message against uh, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Okay. I, what a year, what a year, um, Pisces. All right. So this is the first six months. This is the second six months. Um, this is January, February, March, April, May, June. All right, Pisces, we see offer. Some sort of an offer is going to be coming up. Um, this is tangent balance of uh, you open to whatever offer is coming up. And this is going to be extremely, extremely good. So you Pisces are really open to whatever offer that is going to be offered to you in the month of January. So creative people, um, um, you know, it doesn't really matter if you are working and they're offering you another project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are open to this project, uh, what is going to be coming up. Okay. So, um, the energy of uh, this uh, two of cups, which is good. Um, it is the water, water energy, but, um, not uh, only that it's, uh, the water energy. This two of cups is about, uh, um, initial wisdom, initial wisdom, the energy of water. Okay. So coming together, there is going to be a coming together of arts in harmony and in a beautiful and, and creating a beautiful, beautiful thing. Whatever the, the, um, you know, the business offer that is coming in, take it, take it. So, um, Pisces, whatever business offer comes in, you may be surprised by where this business offer is going to be leading you in, um, to in the month of January. So you are going to be receiving some sort of a business offer. In January, it's like two arts is going to be mending, but it's like one is creative and one is good at creating business. And yes, go for it because it's going to land you a whole lot of money. Okay. So whatever new offer, if you're creating a new business for yourself, it is going to be um, nine of pentacles. There you go. Okay. So be aware of this. So now, as we look at um, February, you're dealing with the King of Wands. Whoever this King of Wands is, uh, um, this person is, you know, really, um, I, this King of Wands could be coming in and offering some of you a job. I am not sure about this person. You got to be aware and um, stand your ground with this King of Wands, whoever this person is. Stand your ground with this person, Okay. Um, so in February, whatever business transaction, um, supervisor, whoever this person is, whether it's a supervisor, manager, stand your ground with this person. Then we are realizing in the month of uh, um, March, month of March. So um, February people, people who are having birthdays in February, you Pisces are going to be taking back your power and bring back financial stability in your world. Okay. So this is good. February, anyone who is born in February is going to be bringing back financial stability um, in their world. And this is going to be good. Then when we look at the energy of uh, uh, March, new money is going to be coming in in March. Okay. That's where you're going to be seeing the start uh, um, of your financial flow, it is we really going to be in March. So in March, the flow of your financial flow is going to be coming in in March, and this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful Pisces. So, so January until March, you you begin with your own energy because this is a water energy. 
February is fire, but you're taking up passion and you're using your passion to career and to, you know, create your own financial flow. If there was none or if you want to build on it, and this is going to be good. And in the month of March, especially for the Pisces who are born in March, a new financial stability is going to be a new door of financial stability is going to be here for you. And this is going to be good. OK, so um, some of you in February could be receiving some sort of a management position. And in March, um, Earth of Earth, um, Earth of Earth is uh, some sort of a new financial stability is going to be created. New incomes, new stream of incomes is going to be created in the month of February. And the finest um, routines, eating, and you're going to be creating a lot. Some of you could be writing a book. Um, all um, assumption about the possibility of you gaining um, a whole lot of financial stability that is going to be in the month of March. So congratulations to the Pisces March um, business, new income stream of incomes is going to be coming in for you. Right. So what a, a wonderful quarter. As we look at the second quarter, we have the energy of hair. Now, the energy of here is that clarity is going to be coming into some sort of a situation that was going on. So in the month of uh, um, April, you have the long and gative hair, the long and gative hair. So I see a frame, um, a frame, a frame framework um that you're going to be building um and this is communication so it could be that you're building website and that sort of a thing because it has to do with communication it's being built within you that will serve you now and far into the future so um pisces if you have a website a business that you create in this year it's going to be um helping you and it is going to be creating wealth for you for a very long time. So anything, any website, any uh, any writing, any creative endeavor that you have and you do, it is going to be helping you moving into the future in a very, very positive way. And that is going to be good. Wow. What a wonderful, powerful um, April that is going to be transpiring. So anything that has to do with communication, um, any business that has to do with communication, website, billing, that sort of a thing, anything in the public, it is going to be a real um, positive and it's going to be long term. People are going to be, you're going to become a host of a name. OK, so go for it. Go for it. Now, let's look at the energy of the four of pentacles in the month of May. Pisces, that's when you're going to be financial stable the month of may is when financial stability is going to be coming in that is going to be positive now is not the time to make big changes um in your life or financial situation instead use the time to take stock of which element of your life makes you feel grounded and at home once you have a clear picture then go for it okay you will be able to move forward so in the month of may is when your financial stability is going to be coming in pisces this is going to be very very powerful this is going to be creating a lot of um wonderful possibilities um that is going to be happening for you pisces okay then we are looking at the energy of um june the energy of june you have emotional uh chaos emotional chaos why pisces why um pisces concentrate more on work and materialistic wealth than relationship this is not a year for relationship it is a year where you're building your empire pisces okay especially young pisces between the ages of uh, 18 and 50 it's a year where you're going to be building on your um your 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 empire so you know you have a lot of emotional turmoil it could be at work and Pisces, you need to understand work is work. Work is not somewhere where you go looking for a relationship. 
that is the biggest problem um, that uh, um, you need to realize that Pisces, you're always mixing business with pleasure and that is so wrong. This is a year that you need to understand Pisces. Business is business, pleasure is pleasure. When it is time to deal with business, it is business time. When it is time to deal with pleasure, it is pleasure time. Do not create chaos in your own life by um, you know, getting involved with people on the work floor, you are at your work, you need to be very um, professional, work and business doesn't go together, okay, only if you were married or in a relationship with this partner, and then it becomes uh, um, romantic, or, um, and then you start business, but on the vice versa, it doesn't work, okay, so when we look at the first six months, it's going to be absolutely fabulous, Fabulous. There is no question about it. This is going to be creating a fabulous alignment of energy. This is going to be good. So be aware of this. Then we are looking at the other six months. We have you dealing with the Knight of Pentacles. Who is this person? Who is this Knight of Pentacles? This Knight of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Whoever this person is and whatever is happening and transpiring, you are dealing with a Virgo person between the age of 18 and 45. Um, and uh, whatever is transpiring, you got to be aware of this person, the information and the communication that they give to you because there is something, um, some truth is not uh, um some truth is not being told okay so it could be a Virgo person at your work or a Virgo person who is your assistant or your business some truth is not being told so be aware of this then when we look at August wow August is the month Pisces expect unexpected money in, in, in August whatever is happening and transpiring um, Pisces, you are going to be unexpectedly surprised in the month of August. A whole lot of money is going to be here for you. Business is going to be booming. Unexpected money is coming in in August. So be aware of this. Then we are looking at also um, September. So whatever is transpiring, um, as you get to uh, July, um Pisces because uh, you had some emotional situation going on in June but as you get to July August September that is where it's like July tell you okay Pisces you have been working on this working on that get ready it's about to happen for you so be aware of this uh, now this third quarter is also going to be very good. Just as the first quarter, the third quarter is going to be excellent. You're finding financial stability in um, the second quarter, and that is going to be good. Now, um, uh, Pisces, when we look at the third quarter, it's all about communication. It's all about creative and communication. So what is happening in October? October, you have the energy of the Ace of Swords. So a message is going to be coming in to you from a, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. It looks like a Virgo. Honestly, it looks like a Virgo, whoever and whatever is transpiring. It honestly looks like a Virgo. Okay, so in... In the month of October, um, Earth of Hair, Earth of Hair, um, and fresh, um, you could be buying a car or you could be getting a company car. Um, you could be going back out to work for some of you, but um, an opportunity is going to be coming in, okay? This is an opportunity for you to grab on, okay? Um, whether it's... Um, exploring languages exploring communicating and your way out some um, you know outside of the boundaries that sort of a habit has formed okay if you find yourself in conflicts stop and breed so it is like a whole lot of good ideas a whole lot of good information some sort of a communication you got to be aware communicate very clear um, um pisces Make sure that your communication is good. Earth up here. Make sure that your communication is good. Be aware of this. And this is going to be a positive. All right. So um, 
um, check out October. You've got to be very, very communicative of, of what is happening. Then we go um, to um, the month of November. No. November. November has the energy of the Nine of Swords, okay? And the energy of the Nine of Swords, November has the energy of the Nine of Swords. Now, whatever the situation and uh, that is happening, it is about um, mature wisdom. However, this is happening and transpiring. It's about mature wisdom. True intelligent wisdom means coming to conclusion and still accepting the differences of uh, other people um, of, um may, you know of other people conclusions okay so you have to accept different that different people have different sort of uh, uh, opinion so you that is something that you need to learn Pisces uh, be matured and um, in the wisdom be mature in understanding um the mutual of uh, mutuality of what is happening and transpire and that is going to be good so wonderful then as we look at december december is a uh, exhaustion you're if you're exhausted what is whatever is transpiring in december you're exhausted you have money but you're exhausted because you have so much work okay so in december um, all of your thoughts, the line of inquiry, the conflicts and the agreements that once seemed so important are melting into memories, okay? There is no good or bad. All are simply experience to be integ um, integrity to and used to inform future dialogue, both inner and external radical acceptance of your own um uh full logic and sharp words and those of others will set you free set um step forward humbly and triumph into a new area of clarity so oh my god pisces this is just so beautiful so what you're understanding with the ten of swords uh, this exhaustion is that all the thoughts uh, the line of inquiry, the communication and agreements that once seemed so important are melting into memories. And why? It's because you just, you know, take the mask off and you're being who, you're, uh, who you are. You took the mask off, you are just being who you are. There is no good or no bad. All are simply experienced to be integrated and used to inform future dialogue. Both internally and externally radically accepting of your own faultier logic and sharp words and those others will set you free all righty pisces you go pisces it's beautiful if you want to see the extended of this reading um uh follow me to the other side if not i am saying namaste until next time